All right, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean, the second story. I'm your host, Finchin. When we last left off, we uh, made it out of the, or we defeated the Field of Love. I made my way out of there off screen. And I also did a little bit of uh, customization with Opera. Uh, before I forget, Claude learned Mirror Slice on his way out. This is his, well, in my opinion, it's his best short range technique. Uh, he gets in four slices. Uh, when you when he gets enough proficiency in mirror slice, each slice will hit twice for a total of eight hits. It's really nice, really strong. He is set on special or killer moves for the rest of the game. Also, I pumped in some points into Opera's customize, got her up to whoops, level six. Yeah. And I made her the almighty Pulse Box. It's arguably her best weapon in the game. It's not her strongest, but it's her best. The only weapon that has a higher attack power is the Psycho Box, which has an additional 50 attack, but does not offer the 60 hit or 20 crit. So that's why I'm saying this weapon is her best. Uh, I made that by... Uh, or, what I had to do is I had to take a weapon like the light box, pump it with gold or silver to make something else. And I just kept doing this over and over again until I got a beta box or a gamma box. Oh, like there, beta box. And then I combined the beta box with an Aura Halcom, and that can make the Pulse Box. So, yeah, that's how I did that. And with that out of the way, let's continue on with the story. I just hope Dazzle wants to behave. Uh, this is not my first attempt at recording this. Uh, the first attempt I had, Dazzle decided it was going to freak out constantly. And so, you know when you, you know my videos where you start hearing sound desync and the characters start moving really fast? That's because Dazzle is deciding he wants to screw up capturing. I try to avoid that as much as possible, but sometimes it, it happens and I don't even realize it. Uh, while we're here, give me my money! Where's my money?! Oh, yeah, that's right. I did sell those. Or I did make and sell those two books by uh, Shizato. Sweet deal. 762,000 full. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Ah, uh, I love big numbers. The sad part is, is that 1,480,000 full that I have, it's not nearly enough. <laughs> I need more money. More money, I tell you. More money. Hello, Narl. We got the four jewels. Tell us what's next. Oh, I got to set shivers. We have indeed, Mayor Narl. Yeah. They don't really do anything for your stats. Like, the only thing it served is that, oh yeah, you, you, you just happened to gain levels while you were doing this. Yeah, you've honed your bodies and you've gained battle experience. Who's that person? Mar Mariana. Mm, pardon me. Oh, the defense force is to finish something at La Aqua. What's a La Aqua? Is it La Aqua? Is it El Aqua? I just say La, La, La Aqua. El Aqua. But whatever. Oh, sweet. Are we finally going to invade the enemy stronghold? Oh, that's awesome. The, oh, she's the leader of the Need Defense Force, eh? 
We're looking forward to working with you too, Mariana. Oh, come on, Dazzle. Behave. Uh, I really should start investing in an HD PVR. It'd make this so much easier. Dazzle, it's... It's a cheap capture card. Don't let that convince you to buy it. That's what convinced me to buy it in the first place. I didn't look up any good reviews. And it does well sometimes. Other times, it just goes straight to crap. I've gotten a lot of use out of it over the year, don't get me wrong, but it's just not the best. The fate of the entire universe is in your hands! Tomorrow? Okay, so, sweet, we're going to evade the enemy stronghold. We're Closer to the end than I thought we were, viewers! <laughs> uh. Oh. Um. Awkward. Ow, oh, gnarl. Yeah, four people knew, the other four didn't. <laughs> it is no more. Yep. Expel crash to the planet. Yeah, I'm afraid so, Leon. Even if they did survive the, the ship getting destroyed, they're no longer alive now. Oh, Celine. Still hope? What do you mean? Okay, now you're just making things up, Gnarl. Yeah, so basically they're going to lose a few days on their calendar is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, they have to like do a super massive like magical mounts of uber awesomeness. Deus Moxina stuff. The energy of all the cities of energy need must be used. Ah, so Phenol is one of their cities. And we have to take back Phenol to bring back Expel. So now half of our party members have given been given their um, reason to fight. The other four, they're otherworlders. They, they don't care. Did the music just cut out? We cannot lose. Anyway, please rest tonight. The fate of Expel and the entire universe depends on tomorrow's battle. Yeah, the music did just suddenly cut out. Way to go, game. You made me think Dazzle was freaking out. Arn la aqua. <laughs> Sweet. Off to the Median Defense Force base. Oh, come on, Nar. We could have teleported with you. This thing supports more than one person for teleportation. I mean, we teleport eight at a time. We haven't had any huge def malfunctions and deformities happen. All right. La Aqua. For the final battle against the Ten Wise Men. Yeah! I think we're ready. I hope we're ready. We better be ready, viewers. I am I am so afraid right now. Whew. Some chipper music for uh, such a... 
operation. All right. Not not the kind of music I'd play before you get ready to invade the enemy stronghold. All I'm saying. All right. Follow the mysterious stranger into the mysterious place. Here we are in L'Aqua. I just like saying that. L'Aqua. Um, so, yeah. Mm, pardon me. Oh, so we have to go under the barrier. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know if I showed it off in the sign art, but you can't fly to the, to phenol or final, however you want to pronounce it. I always said phenol because I, because of the IE and I have a tendency to pronounce things the German way when I don't have see, when it's a new word. And in German, if you have I and E together, whichever one comes second is the sound that takes over. A harush, hirush, harush, whatever. It's a, it's a, it's a submarine of sorts. Yeah. It's a submarine sign art, basically. Well, it, it's, a, it's a living creature like the sign art that goes underwater, but it's nowhere near related to the sign art. It looks more like a shark whale. And that's all we'll see of it, too, is just the head. But, I mean, I want to say it's a whale because those teeth, teeth look very sharp. I mean, because it looks giant, and those teeth to look too sharp to be a whale, though, so it's a shark whale. It's a heraldic animal that is used for undersea surveys. It may look terrifying, but it's really a tame beast. Yeah, let's do this! Let's conquer Fino, baby! Wait, so... How are we going to... Is there, like, a, a, a base on its back? Is is there a structure in its back that we can go into? I don't understand. Because we're not riding inside the thing's mouth. Are we climbing into its blowhole, maybe? I don't know. The game never really shows us. Yeah, that's the only other view of the Hirsch we get. Brace themselves for impact. Let's do this. All right, wise men. You're going down. Ooh. More CGI cutscenes. Pretty. Strange. It certainly is strange. What's strange? What's the matter? This is the matter. Holy crap! Who are you? I know who they are. You don't. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You are rather late. You have kept us waiting for so long for you to come. What is the meaning of this? It is nothing. Our plans have all... Our have also approached the final stage, so I thought I'd announce them and give them to you. What? We have already completed energy needs transport system and anti-space weapons. Moreover, the completion of a weapon able to destroy an entire planet is not far off. The galaxy will soon fall into our hands! I don't know about that. The Earth Federation will never permit it. Da ha. Oh, Claude. Um, I think I know who he is, but I'm not absolutely positive. <laughs> Couldn't even scratch a shield around energy need. Anti... So... An positron and anti-proton cannons. Alright. Definitely sci-fi areas. Wait. What's going on here? What? The cowness? The it can't be. Uh, countess? Is countess that countess? 
Ernest, <laughs> I don't think you said Countess enough times in that sentence, Countess. <laughs> it is my father's ship. Couldn't be. You fiends! First, shall we start out at about, oh, 10% power? Oh, I love some of these v villains in these games. They're so deliciously evil. Like Skyward Sword's main villain whom you see, like, uh, reoccurring villain so far. He is so delightfully twisted. I love him. Like, he's just that perfect hint of insane and malevolent. Like, it's the perfect mixture. <laughs> Antimatter cannon, sir! But how? It's a class 9 supernova. How could anything within such a. How could anything exist within such a body? There may be an entity within it. Stop speaking nonsense! <laughs> Open all channels. Transmit requests for peaceful negotiations in all known languages. Also, activate full shield protection in case request is not heeded. Yes, sir. Crap, we better cover our butts and pray for peace. <laughs> oh, crap. Acceleration continues to increase. Any responses? Negative. Complete silence. Rear shield maximum output. All hands brace for impact. Ooh, pretty. Holy crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Shields are intact. We're co oh, wow, my controller is throbbing like crazy. <laughs> oh. Rear shield output, 72% output reduction. What? 72% of the shields were lost from that one shot? Does surprisingly well. Increase power! Now next we shall try 30%. What?! Continued circumferential acceleration increase. Energy intensity is greater than previous cannon blasts. Now at class 0.4. All power to rear shields immediately! Impact imminent. Holy crap. Come on, Countess, you can make it. Ah. Oh. Huh. Oh. The shield survived again. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Come on, Countess. Oh, no. No. This can't be. Prepare the neutron cannon. Use the computer to calculate the source of from those two blasts. Aim and fire when ready. Crap, we gotta take this thing out. We've gotta do something. We can't just sit here like l lame ducks. Neutron cannon ready. Fire! Come on, Countess. You can make it. Come on, Countess. Destroy. Destroy the wise men's weapons. Show them the power of the Earth Federation. Nothing can stop us. Come on! You can do this! I'm getting a little excited, dears. I'm, I'm sorry. The scene always just gets me worked up. Don't try anything. Increase power. Please, just stop it. Goodbye. Stop! Any damage? No damage detected. Circumferential acceleration continues. This time it's class 0 .07, or 0 0.07. How can it be? <laughs> oh, some re I'm totally reminded of the Legend of Dragoon. But I'll save that for a less serious moment. Countess? Come on, shields hold out that... No. No, it can't be. No! Wait, hold on. Darth Vader. No! This is unforgivable. 
I'll never forgive you. I'll kill you all! My, at least he is spirited. If you let your anger get in the way, you will lose even battles you should win. And Alessio, please leave this up to me. I will do that. Marsilio, please use your discretion. What? All right, Marsilio, you're going to be our first wise man to die in the four fields, but after all, it wasn't against us. Or what? Wait, I, I missed what he said completely. We're surrounded? Excellent. Now we can crush them all at once. I doubt that it will be that easy. I'll do it right now and show you. Let's go, everyone. All right. It's not boss time. Oh, that stinks. All right. Ah, come on. Die. Die. I'm begging you, die. I'm going to get revenge for everyone on the Countess, for Rognix's Kini, for the rest of the crew. You will perish. Uh, Pressus is angry. Bloody Mary. That was a pathetic amount of experience points. I gained more experience points from the field of love enemies. You're going to have to do better than that, Marcilio. Oh, some survived. There's still more there. What? Marsilio, fight us like real, like a man. We will take you down. Show no mercy. Never give up, never surrender. Other copyrighted line from a science fiction movie or series. <laughs> well, technically, in Never Give Up, Never Surrender, that was a movie about a fictional science fiction series. So, <laughs> I actually covered both. <laughs> Alright, take this guy. Ow. Okay, fine. Parabola Beam. You, or Parabora Beam, not Parabola. She says Parabora Beam. I don't care how it's, it's pronounced par Parabola. And this is why I even I don't even take voice acting seriously when it comes to pronunciations, because that's clearly pronounced parabola. Not parabora. Probably has some English lead over from there. Oh come on, Marsilio! Fight us like a man! It's endless. Prepare to die. I shall avenge my father's death. Let's see what you've got. Come on, Marsilio. I will take you down. What? No damage? Ah, oh, criminy. Are we not prepared? Holy cow. Okay, um... I forget if you need to die or run. I think you need to run. You cannot win this battle. Alright, just... If you have bunny shoes, just keep running around. Keep running in circles. Uh, we'll put a... Uh, we'll use one resurrection bottle in case something bad happens and revive Claude and set him to run away. Uh, resurrection bottle. Where are you? There we go. Tactics. Stay away from enemy. Ah, uh, crap. Run. 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 I think this is a time fight, because I remember getting a game over here, and I was getting really, really, really upset. Or do you have to die? Whoa! Run! 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 Don't let him hit you! OMG, this is bad. I think we need to flat out die. Alright, I'm not for this running around. Fight me like a man! Bloody Mary! Oh, that wasn't Bloody Mary, that was Parabora Beam. We were destroyed.
Okay, yeah. <laughs> Fooey, this isn't even a fair fight. Uh, shoot! I don't think he said shoot in the original Japanese, but that's just me. Why do our attacks have no effect? To be frank, I didn't think there was so much of a difference in power. It's no use. We must retreat. We must first retreat and regroup. What fools! Did you think that you could escape? Leave this up to me. Everyone else, escape while you can. Mariana, no, that's suicide. Don't, Mariana. Come quickly. We are defeated now. It's no use. At this rate, there is no chance of winning. But... Forget it. Just go. I don't know how long I can hold out. Run. Run. Run away, Claude. Run. Mariana. I salute you. Hmm. A commendable intention. Now, how about it? I warn you, I have no intention at all of losing. And she dies. Yeah, we're more powerful than any other Nidian. There's no way Mariana could possibly win. <sighs> Narl, you led us on a suicide mission with no chance of victory. What can we do? How can we stop them? A good fight? I ran along like a Nancy with bunny shoes. We couldn't even put a scratch in them. <sighs> Didn't... Didn't even engage us. He slaughtered us. Ugh. Mm, pardon me. Suitable weapons. I have the Eternal Sphere, dude. The Eternal Sphere. It has the third best attack power of any weapon in the game. Ugh, what are you talking about, Narl? What weapons are you referring to? I've had enough of this. I lost. We lost good people back there. The Sealed Heraldry Weapons Laboratory? What? Hmm. Pardon me. Let's talk about it later. There was one more thing that I was anxious about. What was that? It was the crest behind the Ten Wise Men in Fino. Wasn't that a mere decoration? No, that crest has a terribly grave significance. The cr What was it? That crest. That was the ultimate crest. The worst. Final crest. Its effect would be the annihilation of the universe itself. Why would you develop something like that? <laughs> Why would you make something like that? It's a crest that would absolutely never be used on need. And one that only a few people even know about. Why would you make something like that? Come on, people! The domination of the universe? They probably... Uh, they probably thinking... I, I know more about the Crest of Annihilation than you do, viewers, and it was not made by the Ten Wise Men. Ugh. Think about countermeasures. Uh, why would you make something like that? Uh, so we'll meet up in Armlock. It's the one town I haven't been to yet. 
But seriously, why would you make a weapon powerful enough to destroy the freaking universe? Ah, that, that's like a serious, ah. Uh, I, it boggles my mind, viewers. It, it boggles my mind. Alright. Well, this episode went on much longer than I anticipated. I didn't, I knew it was going to be storyline, but I didn't expect story time to last that long. Whew. Alright, well, first of all, off, uh, proof of concept. Phenol is up here. Do not fly into the field of love. Yep, that's where we were. There's Phenol. Can't get to it because of the energy shield they have surrounding. But we can get to Armlock. Oh. Armlock's this way, isn't it? Or is that Fun City? I always get the two mixed up. Come on out. Go! Oh no, this is uh, Noelle's house and the cave. Dang, where's Armlock? I wanted to park in front of Armlock and stop this episode. Oh, it's all the way over there, isn't it? I always get so turned around in this place. I've, I've played this game like 500 times. I still can't remember where anything is. Alright. Well, here's Armlock. This is where I'll pick up next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I shall see y'all tomorrow. Laters. The final crest. Why the heck would you... Ah!